if you're looking to buy a GPU now that they're starting to flood the market at much cheaper prices, especially the high end stuff like 3090s, it's coming down like a rock to prices that we, we've never really seen before. There's a particular GPU that probably better to avoid or be extremely careful. Now, this GPU is also going to be tied to a brand name that's had significant issues during the last you know, few days very recently. That's going to be EVGA. This GPU is going to be the RTX 3090. I'm going to give you guys the reason why I don't think it's going to be that great of a buy. Trust me, they're going to be coming down in price like a rock. They used to retail for $1,700, $1,800. Often during the GPU crisis, they were almost $3,000 on the scalper market. But now they've quickly come down below $1,900, $800 in some cases. I'm going to tell you why it's not that good to get them. First, you guys know about EVGA. They're no longer working with NVIDIA. I mean, that doesn't change the fact that they used to make great GPUs and their warranty is the best in the business, at least up until now. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? But the RTX 3090, especially the Ford the 3 and this will also count for some 3080 Ti's and maybe even some 3080's did have some issues. They had some defects early on. If you guys remember the fiasco with Amazon's game New World, where they weren't soldered properly, there were some defects in manufacturing, and those GPUs were completely bricked while just you know playing that game. And there were many reports of that same GPU you know dying while playing other games. I even had two. 3094 to 13s that they did have water blocks on them, but they worked for months after I put the water blocks, so the temperatures were perfect. But then they just stopped working out of nowhere. I think I was playing maybe Cyberpunk 2077 at the time. You know, a game that normally didn't give issues. They were water cooled, temperatures were great, very well taken care of. They just flat out stopped working, both of them. So probably I got them at the same time, maybe from that same early batch. So you can see the 3090s certainly had some potential issues. Now, EVGA's warranty, typically I would tell you guys, don't worry, it's the best in the business, but they stopped working with NVIDIA. That's major news. And that means that even though they've said they're going to keep an allocation of GPUs for future RMAs, who knows how long they're going to be able to go for? What if they run out? They can't guarantee a certain amount, especially if their relationship was bad with NVIDIA. We don't know what's going to happen. What if your GPU breaks several years down the road? And the 3090, from my experience, has been more likely to break than something like a 3060 or a 3070. Typically, EVGA quality control is definitely very good. I've never had other problems with their GPUs, but they did have these issues and maybe they were popping out so many GPUs during the GPU craze that maybe quality control fell a little bit below a standard that they're typically used to. And another reason why it may be a good idea to avoid the RTX 3090 on the secondhand market, trust me, there are going to be a lot of them hitting the market. EVGA made a ton of these, especially the Ford the 1.3. And and as crypto mining disappeared and RTX 4000 comes out, you're going to be seeing these for pretty cheap. So it may certainly be very tempting. Remember, they're great GPUs when you're gaming, but a lot of new crypto miners, which there were a tremendous amount during the last two years, they could have uh, ran these GPUs way too hot. VRAM, GDDR6X, which is on the 3090, runs much hotter than other GPUs like a 3070 or a 3060 or the AMD GPUs. So if somebody didn't know what they were doing and the, they didn't have great thermal pads, EVGA typically had some better ones than like the Founders Edition, but a lot of them, perhaps perhaps didn't. Sometimes the thermal pad issue you would only see during mining or maybe video rendering, which a typical game wouldn't show. Very possible these GPUs were ran very hot, maybe like 110 Celsius, you know, their junction temperature for the for the VRAM, which is way too hot. They could have been thermal throttling. If the person was inexperienced, this means that that GPU could maybe have some damage and not work nearly as well as a brand new one. There is a lot of potential for that because of inexperienced crypto miners. Now, somebody knew what they were doing and how to monitor uh, temperatures, which a lot of people did, don't get me wrong, then the GPU is likely perfectly fine. If it was doing like 92 to see for most of its life, it's not really going to be an issue. But some of these 3090s, you could check back on Reddit and all of the questions that people would have. They would hit that 110 limit and thermal throttle. People would leave that sometimes for months because they didn't really know any better. They didn't know what to do to you know make it cooler. Maybe they tried to do thermal pads, which can often damage the GPU if you're not careful and if you're inexperienced opening it up. 
So definitely a lot of issues there, specifically to the 3090. This is something you would be less likely to run into if you were doing something like a 3070. It's not gonna run nearly as hot, no reason to open it up. Um, you're probably not gonna thermal throttle unless you really put it somewhere with no airflow, which is you know harder to do than just have a 3090 in like a case or something like that. This VRAM could definitely thermal throttle even with some decent airflow. Sometimes the thermal pads just were pretty bad from the factory. This was across most of the 3090s from various companies, not really just with EVGA. So this would apply to them as well. Those are two big things to keep in mind. Early 3090s had an issue. Who knows? You may get an early one if you're buying used. Who knows how long the person had for? And if it was used for crypto mining by inexperienced people, they could have ran that VRAM way too hot, maybe degrading the quality of the GPU. And even a gamer, the 3090 runs really hot. Like even in the, a case, if you don't have really good airflow, that GPU is going to thermal throttle and it could degrade the quality of the GPU over time. So even a gamer running it constantly with maybe a bad case design, bad airflow, that that could certainly make the GPU not function as well and degrade it. This, of course, is something you're not going to experience nearly as much with a less powerful GPU because it's not going to run nearly as hot. So there's definitely more room for error there. So while the 3090 is overall is still a great GPU for gaming, the performance is great. It does have those risks. And now that the market is going to be flooded with GPUs, maybe you should look at some other options that maybe are going to have a longer warranty. Maybe it's transferable from a used one to a new one and maybe one that didn't have quite the history of you know problems with gpus breaking in the past like i said evga all is covered and replaced the gpus but going forward they're not working with nvidia anymore who knows if they correctly allocated enough rma units what if it breaks in a couple of years that could certainly be a problem so that's one GPU to be very careful with. The prices are going to be a lot lower. If you do get it for a really good price, I mean, there's only you know so much you can risk. It's still a great GPU. I'm not saying don't buy it under any condition at all. Just make sure you get a great deal. Ask the seller exactly how they used it. If they're aware of the temperatures and how it was in their case, if everything was under control, and then typically you shouldn't really have much of an issue. You are going to see a lot of these on the market and they're going to vary based on their quality and how they were treated. Just make sure to ask even more questions if you do plan to buy this GPU than you normally would with something that perhaps has less chance of it being improperly used. All right, guys, so let me know down below, is this a GPU you plan to buy? Do you agree that it has some potential issues that are a little bit more alarming than other GPUs, especially considering the situation with EVGA? Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.